Hey, thanks so much for joining us here on Nine News Plus. I'm here with Nine News Sports Director, uh, Broncos Extraordinaire. Is that that's more of my closest title? But we'll give you yeah. that for now. Um, I'll take Ron Mackey you joins me. us uh, here, and Rod. Uh, let's start things off with the Broncos' first preseason game. Okay. They win. Um, what are your top takeaways? And also, can I honestly ask, does it matter that the Broncos won the preseason opener? Uh, the, the bigger deal is that they won Thursday. That's when they had the joint practices. And okay. that's honestly, that's my gut is that's the closest thing to the real thing we're going to see until they play Seattle on the opener on Monday night on September 12th. That was starters getting really about 50 plays each. That was Russell Wilson. That was Justin Simmons. That was Cortland Sutton. That was the best of the Broncos against the best of the Cowboys. And what was incredibly encouraging about that is the Broncos were better. And the Cowboys, keep in mind, I would be beyond shocked if they are not a playoff team this year. Their division is not good. Dallas is good. Uh, red zone, Russell Wilson took it to them. Denver really dominated the red zone when they went Broncos offense there against the Dallas defense. And on the other side, the flip side, I, I don't know when I've been so entertained because that Denver D loves to chirp. They just love to talk, and Dallas didn't like it so much. So there was a lot of, uh, I counted six different brawls, some more serious than others. I mean, I saw punches thrown, guys getting taken down. It was, it was crazy, but they were better on that side of the ball as well. And then they followed that up on Saturday night, which turned out to be pretty much the battle of the backups. And the Broncos were better then, too. Uh, shows you the depth. We saw so many of those receivers truly shine. They didn't have many running backs, so they threw the ball a lot. And I was impressed with those guys. So, good start. I think you can, you know, you, you don't, they ain't going to the playoffs after what you saw in the preseason. But it was certainly encouraging. I guess, uh, before we get into some more optimistic notes here, I guess the downsides would be Jonas Griffith, 40 seconds into the preseason opener, dislocated elbow, out four to six weeks. Of course, the Tim Patrick injury yep. already taking place earlier in training camp. Um, talk about the impact of those injuries. And that's, and that's why I think these preseason games will continue to be the battle of mm. the backups. The Rams won the Super Bowl last year. The Rams never, ever play starters in the preseason. Hmm. Tim Patrick, fluke ACL, that's ACLs usually are, non-contact goes down, horrible, horrible, big blow for the Broncos. And then four, basically there's four guys that were starters for the Broncos in that preseason game Saturday night against the Cowboys. And on the second play, one of the four, Jonas Griff, the linebacker, goes out four to six weeks now. They have to bring in Joe Schobert today, a new guy coming in. I mean, it's just the luck that they decide to play those guys because, like at the tight end position, there were some starters there, too, because they don't know who's going to be the tight end. So there's some positions where they're going to have to play these starters because they've got to get a look at it. They still need to make decisions. But it's, I mean, the Griffith one was tough. The Patrick one is brutal. That's a huge blow. But that's, that's why you look at these things. And, you know, we've talked to Nathaniel Hackett, and he talks about risk versus reward. He didn't risk much, and it still didn't pay off. So that is... And that's the thing. Say what you will about training camp, preseason games. The most important thing about it is to come out of it healthy. And the Broncos have now gotten dinged twice. Well, you alluded to it there. Russell Wilson did not play. Yeah. Um, do you expect to see him at all? I, I, I don't think they have any interest in playing Russell Wilson now. They know what he can do. I mean, nine-time Pro Bowler, the guy's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's done everything. I mean, nobody works hard. It's not like he's not going to be ready. He's been working with these receivers in the offseason. He's, he's pulled them aside. They've gotten in so much work. They work before practice. They work after practice. Hmm. They got that work in against the Cowboys. I think that was big for them. Um, you know, there's, there is the thought that you get him out there for a series or two. Um, but then you saw last week in other NFL games with key players going down for other teams, and that probably just reiterated in Coach Hackett's mind, I'm not, I'm not risking it. I'm just not risking it. He's going to be good to go for Seattle. Um, I just don't know if you want to put him at risk. Um, there's some guys you probably do want to get out there, let them get tested a little bit more. But with Russell, I mean, that's, that's the team. I mean, that's, that's, expectations are great because of the coach and the ownership, but you lose Russ, and it's, it's – we're right back to where we've been the last couple of years. You've got to have that quarterback in the NFL. I just, I, I would be shocked if they risk him too much. Maybe a series or two, maybe against Buffalo, maybe against Minnesota. Uh, but based on what we've seen so far, I'm not so sure. In game three, by the way, against Buffalo, that's usually, for those of you unfamiliar, that's two, usually two's, a but two's Buffalo. Oh, two's, two's Buffalo, Buffalo three's three, Minnesota. Th three's yep. Minnesota, and usually it's game three, right? That's the uh, dress rehearsal game for the season. Well, it's different because remember, it used to be, used to be four games. And so game three was the one when you would see those starters play <clears throat> into the second half. 
now game and then game four nobody would play well now game three is game four and they cut it down so there's really no rhyme or reason to how that works so hmm. that's why it's kind of interesting now because they've got rid of that game that was just the useless game at the end and now you got three so how do you treat three and then keep in mind they've got another week after that so they've got two weeks after you you play the third preseason game then you got an extra week almost a, a built-in bye week before the season opener all right give me a few <clears> stars <throat> from training camp and maybe from the preseason opener uh, really, really enjoyed seeing what Brandon Johnson did. So this is, mm. this is for you, those who you don't know, this is Charles Johnson, former Colorado Rockies catcher. So it was a great story coming in. We're like, oh, this is cool. We just thought it was a great story. Well, it turns out he's a great player. He was probably the best player along with Josh Johnson, the, the backup quarterback in that preseason game. Johnson was great. I mean, Johnson Johnson. Brandon Johnson <laughs> was great. I mean, I, he's going to make this team. There's no question 89 is going to make this team. Look for him. He was great. I think Josh Johnson, the backup quarterback, who's played for, I believe, it's 17 different NFL teams over his career. Wow. And he's just, he's just a, such an enjoyable guy to root for, to talk to. Teammates love him. He loves being here. Uh, <clears throat> I think he solidified the number two position. So over with he's, him. Yep. And Brett played pretty well. Um, Josh played better. They got two more games to figure this out, but I think that's probably the direction they'll go. I think those two guys really stood out. There were a couple other receivers that played well. Kendall Hinton, the guy who's already in the Hall of Fame, is the quarterback who had to come in when the NFL kind of hosed the Broncos there. He played well. Uh, Seth Williams had a great touchdown catch. I mean, they, they did some exciting things. All right. <laughs> so what are you going to be watching for as we head into the uh, second preseason game in Buffalo? It'll be interesting to see what Buffalo does. I would love to see Vaughn Miller play. That'd be cool. Mm. I would love to see Josh Allen play, the former Wyoming quarterback that would be cool I don't know what their theory is so this is when they're facing Buffalo this is this is the team the Super Bowl favorites the Buffalo Bills are the Super Bowl favorites so I don't know how many of those guys are going to play I don't know how many of the Broncos will play but you got your first road game just continue to watch kind of what Nathaniel Hackett does and everything else get together and, and again this is this is also as they continue to stack that depth chart and solidify those final positions on the roster any final <clears throat> thoughts uh, we normally do <clears throat> predictions at the <clears throat> very end but um, I'm not going to ask you to predict the preseason game because nobody cares. Uh, what, 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 any final thoughts as we uh, wrap things up here? No, just that it's, it's, it's exciting to see what, uh, uh, in, in all honesty, the preseason was great, but what we saw in that Thursday game, that's truly what stood out because that was the real thing. It's close. They didn't take down the quarterbacks. They weren't, you know, they're hitting, but they're not tackling to the mm. ground. But it still just gave you an idea. I'm also excited. Uh, Randy Gregory just came back. This yes. is we're not for Russell Wilson. This is your big off-season addition. He's back off the pup list, the physically unable to play list. So that's great to see. Billy Turner, the offensive lineman, back today. So it's going to be nice to get those guys back. We're just under four weeks away from the season opener. So I'm glad they got those guys back now. Get them some work. So hopefully they're ready. For September 12th. And both guys expect to be 100% for, for day they, one. They hope to be there for the season opener. I don't think anyone's ever 100%, except you, of course. Um, Stop. No, so, I mean, they're hoping. <laughs> that's, that's, that's both the guys talked about that's their goal, is to be ready for that. And that's, I mean, coming back with this much playing time, hopefully. And you also have to get rid of the mental aspect of testing it out and see how you do, because until you truly get in there and play an actual game, you just don't know for sure. Of course not. But yeah. We know that uh, you're Mr. 99% because exciting. you're the sports director That's right. at uh, I do have my nine pins. So. There you go. Double nine. But uh, Ron <laughs> Mackey, thanks so much for joining us here on 90s Plus.